Welcome back to the School of Calisthenics. Jacko here and welcome to literally my front room where we're talking about training at home and movement is life. Check out the new gear and we need to be moving well and being able to train at home is one of the great things we love about calisthenics. But in terms of movement, if you only do the same movement patterns, you get tight and stiff in those movements. And if you're training at home and we haven't got um, any way to do any pulling or rowing exercises, then we're going to overload our pushing muscles. So one of the great things about calisthenics is, yes, we don't need any equipment at all for lots of the training, but there are certain things like our rowing and our pulling that's going to be good for our shoulder posture. If you spend too much time pushing and doing um, and press ups, and all of your handstand work, which is great, but you end up with the shoulders riding forward even more, and you're not doing anything to strengthen those muscles at the back, then we're going to have a problem with our movement, and that movement isn't necessarily going to be live, or it's not going to feel good. So that's where, by the way, yes, it is new in the shop, details will be below. But yeah, these are as well. This is, um, you know, home training straps. So these are great for anyone working on our bodyweight basics program. I'm going to show you some of my favorite exercises with them. They are great because they literally just hang over your door. So if you're anything like me, like, yeah, I've got my rings to train outside with a big rig and all that. But there's times where if you're in the UK, the weather is terrible and you need to be able to train at home. But one a bit like DIY David, your DIY might be rubbish. And also Mrs. Jacko might not want you like bolting stuff to the wall or drilling into the wall. So this is a non-invasive, <laughs> no installation or anything required. You just hook them over the top of the door and uh, you are good to go. And then literally like you have got all of your pulling and the rowing exercises that you could love and imagine. And I'm going to show you a couple of my favourite ones to do with this and some of the ways, variations that you can use to help change up the positions to make them applicable to you. So using the tools from the locker, some of the body angles um, that we love at the score calisthenics allows you to train at a level that is applicable to you. So the simplest and most basic, the body weight row, which is one of our favourite pulling motions. Great if you're working on building up to do your first pull-ups. It allows you to work on those nice pulling mechanics, shoulders engaged at the back, rowing and squeezing. Imagine you're just pinching a pound coin behind you as you drive the elbows back rather than jumping the shoulders for you. You can work your feet in a position that makes it easier if you're higher up or harder if you come lower down. And then what I really like about this one is we can bend the knees to make yourself even more horizontal in that rowing motion but at the same time you can push through your legs a little bit to help you up to make it more or harder or easier for you through these push these pulling um, patterns the other thing we love is working on some variations so rather than staying in the same positions what about taking my arms and going out wider working a little bit more on that sort of posterior delt there's one nice little variation an option for us. What about one where I screw in and I come from that pronated into that nice supinated position? So I'm talking up at the shoulder, getting some of that external rotation happening as I'm pulling through into that position. And then I've got my normal neutral grip position. There are just a couple of variations on your grip to use the straps to change up your grip position, whether we're pronated, whether it's supinated. If you spend a lot of time in front of your computer in this pronated position, Spending some time where you're pulling and rotating outwards is going to be good for that shoulder and good for that posture, opening ourselves up. Now, this second one is a reverse fly. So it is still a pulling pattern. But what you'll notice is rather than pulling straight up, the arms are coming out to the side in a fly type shape. Arms and elbows staying straight, but I'm driving up and utilising that posterior Delt. So as I'm pulling, it's the guy back here that's helping drive that shoulder abduction, so taking away from the body. That is a great exercise to get that posterior delt fired up and strong, which is a great one for stabilising the shoulder and offsetting all of that pushing work that we may also be doing for working on things like our handstands and, and frog to handstands and any of our push-up and dipping work. I've flipped things over, I'm facing forward now, so this isn't a pulling exercise, but it's a great one for working the stabilisers of the shoulder and linking into the core. It's one of the great things we get about this type of, of, of home training where we integrate into the core. So we're gonna link through a couple of movements. One would be our rollout, 
where we're going to work on being, you know, your angle, the, the further forward you are, the easier it's going to be as I walk my feet back and I can make the strips, uh, the straps longer to make it harder as well. But I can work through into the shape and making sure my tummy stays tight. Imagining I'm, I'm going to take a punch in the stomach so those abs go tight and I'm squeezing my butt cheeks as hard as I can. Sometimes I like to like let the hands go up rather than gripping so hard when we don't necessarily have to. So I can work on extending my fingers in that rather than overdoing gripping too hard. Some of the time it can be nice to, to mix that up as well. So there's one shape coming forward. And then the other one we like is coming into an actual fly, but controlling um, the shoulder blades on the back of the shoulder as you work into that shape. And then what's really nice when you get comfortable with these two things is actually linking them together. So we roll out forwards, we sweep around and we come back. We roll out forwards, sweep around and come back. And then we can also reverse that. So come down, sweep around, feel those shoulder blades wrap around the ribcage and then drive back. And you can link these in one big, nice motion called these ring fly sweeps. Great for the core, great for stabilizing the shoulder and feeling what the shoulder blades are like when they're moving. As I come around here, those arms coming up and around mimic that nice upward rotation of the shoulder blades as they wrap around the ribcage. If you've never tried that one, get that one in your training program as a little bit of accessory for your shoulder stabilizers. It's getting hard in here, we're getting decent workout done, so the top's coming off. <laughs> What's going on? Why am I trying to take my jumper off? Beautiful new jumper, I don't want to get that beautiful new jumper sweaty. Abs out! And the hair is an absolute diabolical mess. That is what happens when you can't have your hair cut for every year. All right, so yeah, I was getting on here. So now we're, we're, we're stripped off. We're getting the workouts, basically getting done doing this video. So um, last one, lower body. I love a flipping shrimp squat. Why? Because in a shrimp squat, we get to um, work on the stability of the strength of that single leg whilst challenging the flexibility around that hip flexor of the back leg. Now, to hold that yourself can be challenging. These work as a bit of a variation on that, a little bit of a Bulgarian split squat type position, where imagine rather than holding my leg like in a shrimp squat, I'm able to come down, control, drive back up. You have to work your balance and your control and stability around the pelvis, control the knee in front and line, in line, and driving over that big toe, working the strength on that side, flexibility on the back, gradually over time, ooh, let that go, you'll be able to work on being able to hold that back leg, come down and drive up. It's a nice little progression from, or building up towards a full pistol. pistol. What am I on about? Shrimp squat, I just said it at the beginning. Building up towards a shrimp squat. So there's a few great exercises to show you how it can be used for, yes, pulling and rowing, which is so important for our shoulder posture and making sure that we are moving well for, the, for all of our, our life. Uh, but also showing how it can be used great for some of the core exercises, stabilising the shoulder and some pushing motions, and also working into our lower body. I mean, obviously the, the catalogue of exercises that you could do with these types of training is, is unbelievable. It's just a lovely addition that doesn't require you to um, like hammer anything or drill anything at all. You can just hook them over your, uh, over your doors. And if you're not blessed enough to live in a place where the sun is shining all the time, you can just hang your rings or whatever outside over a tree or whatever. And you've got to train inside sometimes because you're like us and you live in the UK and it's cold and it's wet and it's raining. Then this is a lovely one to just uh, drop in your own front room, a bit like mine. So hope you enjoyed seeing what my front room is like as well as uh, some ideas for your training. And uh, if you're following um, our Bodyweight Basics programme, this is a great one to add into that so that you can get those rowing uh, motions and actions into place. And uh, if you have any questions about any of your training whatsoever, hit us up in the comments below. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe. If you're interested in any of the new kit or in terms of clothing, those new designs, there was the hoodies, the jumpers and everything, or if you're interested in this, um, those straps themselves, then head over, they are available on our online shop right now. And there's a 10% um, launch offer that is available until Easter Monday. So celebrating Easter with 10% off as we launch the project, project uh, product launch this product with uh, Crank It. So massive thank you to them for um, the discount for that Easter weekend. So uh, if you're interested, link will be in below and you can drop, grab them at the shop at schoolofcalisthenics.com. Until next time, class dismissed.